Counter Strike 2 is launched recently and lots of users have already installed it on their PCs. Although Counter Strike 2 has generated huge users database, there is a group of users who are unable to play this game due to bugs, issues and error messages they are receiving when they are trying to launch the game. In earlier video, I have covered various Counter Strike 2 issues with possible fixes and in today's video, I am going to cover another issue that users are facing when they are trying to play Counter Strike 2. According to various reports from users, when they are trying to launch the game, error dialog box appear with message that is this application required DX11, no valid device found accompanied by a particular error code. And if you landed on this video, then you are also facing the same issue, right? So let's learn how to fix the issue. Before that, we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to the channel so that we continue making such content. First of all, open Steam app. and switch to library here locate the game on the left panel then right click on it and select properties in the properties window that open select journal tab on the right side locate launch options section here you need to make sure it's clear if there is any launch option command added in this field then clear all then close properties window Exit the Steam client. Relaunch it and try to launch the game. And this should fix the issue for you. In case the launch options field is clear already, then in the same field add dash DX11. After that close properties window, exit Steam and relaunch Steam and try to launch the game and check if this fixes the issue. So these are two possible solutions that work for most of the users who are facing the same issue. If these methods fail to fix the issue, then maybe your device is outdated. I am also looking for other solutions as well. If I find new solution, then I will update it in the blog post to which link is added in the description. So that's all about this video. Don't forget to tell which solution helps you in fixing the issue. If you are aware of any other solution that helps you in fixing the issue, then share in the comments as it will help other affected gamers. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.